Soul Child is hit hit boy, hit boy. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Cause I literally wrote down like not even right on here. Wait oh, I did right. Didn't really like the beat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the Nas Hive come get you. Let's they go. gonna find you. Hit boy's Nas Hive gonna find you. Hit boy ain't all that, bro. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Shit. What are you doing? Fixing my Trying to uh, look studious. Was Tink hit maker though? I heard hit yeah. maker on there. Yeah. Tink is hit maker. Okay. Hit maker. Let's go, man. Let's talk about this bullshit. He done ruined music soul child career. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to another installment of the corner where we talk all things music. I go by the name of Keenan, Slendary, Johnny, and Chris. With my compadres. You listen Fair to the soul out. Shit, nigga. Quiet love. It's currently 109 a.m. in Kansas City. It's about 28 degrees. We got some snowflakes out. <laughs> that means like love is good, though, man. <laughs> you like, man, they playing my shit. <laughs> I miss Midnight Love, man. All right. Let's see here. So on this installment of the corner, we're going to talk about, well, let's do a little backtracking. So Hitmaker and Hit Boy are kind of like beefing right now. Really? Yeah, so they kind of calling each other trash and shit. So I thought... One of them is. So I thought, you know, I held back last week. We supposed to review Tink last week. So I was like, you know what? Let's compare a Hit Boy album, a Hit Boy produced album to a Hit Maker produced album. Is this our versus? And let's see who comes out the winner today. This is our versus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically. Let's go. Yeah, go let's ahead. Go. Hey, I'm Thanos. You, you, look, You're you know Thanos. what? You yeah. weren't here last week, so tell us how you feel. Which one you starting off with? Hit Maker? So you starting off with the Music right? Soul Child album? Hit Maker 1. Hit Maker 1? Yeah, I'll go Music Soul Child. Uh, you know what? I don't want to be too blunt, but I don't like the shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a blunt. I don't want to be too blunt. Then you get blunt force trauma right behind yeah. it. So, let me see what I wrote here. Uh, Beat of My Soul was a good song. I gave that. I was like, man, that's a really good song. Yeah. Your Love Is Life was the second song. I was like, that's a really good song. The rest of it, I, I didn't like the beats. I literally wrote really? out here, didn't really like that beat. Mm. So you wrote the whole track list and told me how many beats you didn't like? No. I mean, I only had to write it once. So I knew I didn't like the beat for all of them. Oh, but damn. The one I did like it before I put a seven next to it. Oh, okay. So I was like, man, that it don't sound like a good uh, Music Soul Child R&B album. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad I, I'm glad to find out that wasn't Hitmaker. Yeah, because that would that would have tarnished his little run. That would have. That would have. It's <laughs> after Nick Bucks. I was like, he on a little run here. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Shit, it sucks. So what was your what was your standout tracks again? Uh that, uh Beat of My Soul or Beat of a Slow Slow. Beat of a Slow Jam? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one too. I forgot the right jam. So you just, dance. Beat of a slow so dance. Just, beat of a slow dance. Beat of a slow. <laughs> That's what I wrote. You're so stupid. What is the slow? Dude, I was working while I was doing this shit. Like, give me a break. It's probably why you didn't like it. Why I didn't like the album? No, because I, I mean, I like that song. When I heard the song, I was like, oh, that's a good song. I had eight hours to do this thing. So, you know, you got I got two listens in on this thing. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, look at my dude. So, I, I, I know for sure I don't like his fucking beats on this one. <laughs> that's fair. So, well, what, was your, what was your score? Man, I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a six because I felt like Music Soul Child still had some good, good music on there. I didn't like the tracks behind it. But mm-hmm. They wasn't terrible. I just felt like they didn't really go with the song, mm. you know. And then overall, the album, even though I like those two songs, I didn't feel like this was like the, you know, like uh, you go back to any other Music Soul Child album. And you got like Jazz Friends or the song with Mary J or mm, you wanted a ballad. I'm like, I don't hear no hits on here for oh, real. Like you want that. A, you wanted some slow jams. That's that's music soul child, right? That's true. That's it. He's a soul Unless child. Unless this is like something new he trying. I mean, he's always been like hip hop esque. Yeah, but I don't any C you listen to Music Soul Child, you might have like some 
upbeat songs, but you still got like some good songs. Yeah, that's true. That's and true. this one, I just didn't hear like the classic music song channel I'm used to listen to. So you just holding on to the what he gave you, and I just want to sing. I'm holding on to music soul child before the verses. Oh, okay. Johnny, what you got? Did to me oh, all right. I thought this thing was actually pretty cool. He ain't got no text. <laughs> I don't think it was kind of basically what I was saying last week. Was I don't think it was great. I don't think it was bad. I do feel like it was music, more music, more of the style of R&B music that I would like to listen to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It a little bit more soul, a little bit more. Yeah, it wasn't like the new shit to where... You know what I'm saying? It's like, I just want to smash hoes and da-da-da-da-da. It was more... Except for the... I really like this song. <laughs> yeah. I, really, I do like that song, though. Yeah. I really just want to really fuck, fuck with you. I to fuck with you. I like yeah. that. I like that song, though. But, uh... That's one I really didn't like to be. No, I like... Really? I, I like that song. I was like, you know what? I'm, I, I'm, I like that. <laughs> I thought music was good on all of them. Oh, okay. But, uh... So, that was probably my favorite song on this thing. Um, I remember you... My ex, I like that song. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, like I thought this, I thought it was decent. I mean, it wasn't like I said, it wasn't great, but it was, it was more aligned with the type of R and B music I like to listen to. So I thought it was a cool seven. Most cool of these albums get cool seven, seven these days. Really. Seven, seven, oh, okay. cool seven. Okay. Yeah. Chad, Chris. It was um, a quick burn too, so that <laughs> kind of yeah, ten yeah. songs. I like yeah. those. Thirty-eight minutes ain't too bad. Ain't too much out of your day. Okay. Uh <laughs> I I did like it overall. Uh I like how music he changed. It seems like he altered or changed a little bit with this, which is cool. Kind of involving as an artist. Hit Boy is kind of like maybe he's trying to change. He did it with Nas, rejuvenate older careers and I guess make them even longer greater careers. Added hopefully. Longevity. Yeah. I mean, he proved it with Nas, so hopefully, you know, maybe they do a couple more albums together. I do agree with Lindari that what? it doesn't have a hit on there. No, I can agree with that. I I pretty much liked liked all the songs. It just it didn't have that hit though. Nothing to stand out. Nothing you can see a music yeah. video for. Yeah, it don't have mm-hmm. like the love or you know that big joint on there. Mm. A big song, a big record. Uh, my favorite song probably was uh, White Rice Deja Vu. Mm-hmm. I like that song. Uh, I like the lyrics on that. Yeah. Girl, you might think we White Rice the way we spoke. Yeah, the way we spoke. I said, oh, <laughs> music. You know, girl, I got to be the big spoon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no little, little spoon out here, you know. Uh, but, no, I liked uh, Beat of a Slow Dance, a good song. Um, Between Love and War, Your Love is Life. I like all those songs. Yeah, let me hold on. Let me see my notes. Go to your notes. Always fall back on your notes. I know. That's why you know. I just don't want to forget anything. Right here. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, my rating. Uh, I really. I want to go against Ladarian. I did like Hit Boy's production on here. As far as like just the way he versatile, like you can do a hard hip hop album, but then turn around and do an R and B album. Like that's. Pretty versatile. Wait, what? <laughs> what did you think about his production on this album alone? Like, you can't be like, I like it on this album because he did Nas' album too. No, I'm no, just saying. No, he was no. making a point that his versatility from going from a Nas album to a music soul a child album with a high level of production is pretty versatile. Is it a high level of production if ain't no hits on here? But that's also music too, though. He didn't make those right but what, those songs into a I hit. I mean, Nas's album didn't have no hits, but it was still a, a Grammy winning album. A Grammy don't mean shit. This mean somebody voted. He owned something with that though. Right. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> but All the right. track is half like I always say like the track is half the battle. So you say it's music soul child, but like ain't it half hit boy too? Yeah. Like if you give me if Hitway gives him a good track, I believe Music Soul Child can make a hit. He has a track record of making hits. I, I didn't think the hits. the beats were trash though. I didn't, I didn't think they were trash good. either. I just felt like they don't feel like they go with this album. I just I feel like they were different from Music's past, but this is he's doing something different though. 
yeah. you can see that though. It's not like, oh, I'm trying to be the same. I'm forcing myself to be the same. Then it wouldn't have worked. But he's like, I'm changing things right now. And he switched it up a little bit. Listen here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But he's got classics though. It's kind of like he's moving on. Like maybe this is something he's more interested in to do. Maybe more like a hip hoppy R <coughs> hip hoppy R and B type. Because I mean, it didn't have the love yeah. ballads that he, yeah, he's right. used to doing in the ne- past. Never say hip hop. But <laughs> <laughs> was that too white? So like music, uh, <laughs> I was thinking bunny rabbits. Uh, <laughs> Music's verses sounded like the same like lovey stuff. It's like the track didn't though. Like beat of a slow dance still was like a lovey song. But I it wasn't. Was, wasn't. I think like if you were looking it. for a hit, that's your hit. It wasn't the slow love, you know that like the real. He didn't have no ballads. The slow, slow. It was hip hoppy. Hip hop. He said it again. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> I'll keep again, saying Kenny. it. I, I heard him. I heard him. I'm, you know, I'm gonna edit it out. All right, my time is up. So I gave this album a seven point seven. Okay. Okay. Chris gave it an eight. Yeah, he did. He tried to stir. I didn't give it an eight. I gave it a seven point seven. This is for my people keeping score at home. We said we said we rounded it up, dog. That's how we doing. You know what, what you saying? got? <laughs> All right, man. I thought this album was pretty damn good. The I, uh, unlike Landry, I enjoyed the production on this album. I felt like being that he is on the verge of hip hop and R and B, though those albums they felt this album felt. Wait, who's on the verge of hip hop and R and B? Like look, like music style. I said like, hip hoppy. Like he's like like every album you can hear him going on oh, on oh, like an MC. You know what I'm saying? He's he's he's, he's a half MC half R and B. It's a good point. So like this man might have one song. Go ahead. This your song. Go it's go to song. the first album. Go to the first album, and I bet you can find a track where he goes on oh, like an MC. And I'm gonna find the song "Just Friends" on the first album, which was straight R and B. Okay. I know that first time. Okay. I listened to that album on the track bus to this day. I know that album <laughs> when you was on the track touching big titties with that album <laughs> in the Walkman. <laughs> go ahead, it's on you. <laughs> Um, I liked. Uh, I remember you, my ex. I re- I liked. Uh, I really trying to fuck with you. I liked beat of a slow dance. It, liked- it took me a little bit to get into that song though. Which one? I really want to fuck with you. Yeah. Oh. Um. It's a few listens. At first, I, like I was like. Song, at first, I was like, eh, this is off. I'm not feeling that. But like my third, I did listen to this three times all the way through. That about that third time, I was okay. All right, I, I, I like, I like this. this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is hard. Is. A little head bobber, but I I cut Keenan off so. I mean, I it's normal. I mean, you do it every but time. I wanted to cut you off when you well, got Kenny, to that do song. Do you like, I remember you, my ex, because of what he was saying. Like, I want to call you, but like, yeah, I you felt my that. fucking ass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The, the, best, the best music is really, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it was a good song. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I feel but that. But that's lyrics too, though. Like, he was spending a little bit when on I, that. When I told you about that, I said, I said I like yeah. his pen on this album. Yeah. I, that was where I was like, man, you know what? I don't like the beat, but I understand what you're saying right there. Like, yeah. You like, man, you know. You might ask for a reason. I ain't calling your motherfucking yeah. man. She was good and bad and this and that. Yeah. God damn, I'd be damn if I call you. Yeah. But if I see but if you, you out. call me though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you or I see you out. Again. All that shit's out the window. <laughs> I see you out there crying like, you looking good? Yeah, you looking good. Yeah. I liked uh, Victim and Villains. That was the one where I was like, I think I tweeted about it today. Victim and Villains. I, I can hear 2008 Joe Budden dra- rapping on that. Like heavy guitars, good production. It just, it just felt like a a rap beat, like one of them New York mixtapes where they just go eighty bars, no hooks. You know what I'm saying? I, and I liked it. Um, was that the like the the single? I know he didn't have a single, but it was like that's that was the most pushed song on the album, though, right? Victim is villain. I feel like I've heard that song. No, I, I heard that song, song outside of the really. album. No, I don't know. I didn't know. I don't. Um, I don't have any knowledge of any singles. Okay. I just saw it. Can't have a single game game. White Rice Deja Vu was dope. I like that. Um, Your Love is Life. And I, I liked we were just binging. Because I mean, like, you know. Oh, we're like, just binging. That was cool. That was a little bit of lyrics on yeah, there. Like, that I was kind of dope. Too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we wasn't really. We ain't get renewed for all these seasons. We just binged a little yeah. bit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm off of it. You know what I'm saying? I liked I liked it. Man. I thought player, it was cool. A little playerish a little bit. I gave it eight. I gave it eight. I liked it a lot. What does he know? Just because we don't agree, <laughs> Jeez, bro. It's cool. We can all have a different opinion. Jesus. Just because we don't agree. We jitters right. with the scores today. <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about Tink. Tink. Oh, school. we moving Le- along. I, I, let's do it. Lead in the Tink. Can we start with me? Yeah. You the star. Boom. Okay. The Tink was a uh, hit the maker. Hit maker. In my opinion, did a much better job. The, uh, 
Well, let, let, let me let me clarify something. Hitmaker. 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 Hitmaker <laughs> does a lot of co-productions. You know when you hear go hitmaker and you hear that the 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 defibrillator noise? Let me, let me just tell you the track. truth, Kenan. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man. Two that, inside baseball. That is actually a drop from another producer by the name. Oh, shit, I know, forgot his name. Wow, you're going to wow. try to school me. You know, <laughs> like I said, if I was really interrupted. Oh, shit. Tink's album, for me, it was a better album. Uh, it just bad, sounded bro. more this like what you expect from an R&B album. Also, I think some of her verses on here were, was really good. A lot of the songs sound like it had like the same type of, uh, I don't know, I guess same type of vibe to it. You know, she's just talking her shit. Uh, one of my favorite songs on there was Save Our Soul. Let me interrupt you for a second. The producer I was thinking about was Cardiac. Apologize. Yeah, I know Google. Cardiac. What's good, Cardiac? Good, good fella. Good fella. <laughs> you were in Kansas City, bro. <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> one the, my songs I liked the most on there was Save Our Soul, uh, probably Trust Issues. I'm going to go with those as my top two. But say where I saw, I thought Tink was really talking shit on there. She said, don't speak on no pussy. A boss bitch gave you. I was like, okay. You know, uh-huh. Tell the niggas don't be talking about no pussy they got. I understand you. Yeah, uh-huh. that's, 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 that's good shit. And then she also said on there, I keep a nigga. I knew from jump because niggas get comfortable. And I was like, everybody know that, that women keep a dick in the box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mercy you dick in the glass. You ain't tell me nothing new, Tink. But overall, I just felt like between the, the beats... And her verses, I felt like they mesh better to sound more like an album, R&B album that I want to listen to in my ear. Okay, so what was your rating on this? So I gave this about a seven and a half. Seven and a half, okay. I don't even know where to put him. He said exactly a half. He said a seven and a half? Uh, you let that four slide? Four and under, you go down. Five, I know, uh, I, you but go five, down. five. It's eight. Oh, we can't do a half? No, he said you can't. Oh, Only I can. I thought we couldn't do a point seven. You can't either. <laughs> you can say it, but I'm gonna correct it. That's fine. <laughs> seven point five, no goddamn eight. Like, come on. Man. All right, man. Whatever. Well, okay, dude, I'm gonna do six and a half. If you're gonna, just gonna round me up, <laughs> what the fuck. God damn. Okay, what well, is seven? <laughs> seven, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnny. I hate you, niggas. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so I personally. Did not really like this album. Mm. I didn't. It's kind of like on the Beyonce level for me. Like it's not that I don't like. It sounded cool. It's just not an album for me. Mm-hmm. Kind of like what I told you a week or so ago. Like I don't want a chick to talk to me like I talk. Like sound be a lady. I don't, don't call me a nigga. Call me a man. You know what I'm saying? Talk sexy to me, bitch. You better king me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But I don't like. I don't have no issue with this. Like a, a woman can hear this album and be like, "Yo, it's fire!" Blah blah blah. But for me, for me personally, not that great. It is what it is. Um, I also what I said kind of last week was, uh, "Or this is a hit maker, right?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He samples a lot, so a lot of these songs had samples on it. I heard, I think Alicia Keys and Drake sample on there. Oh, I didn't even catch that. It was on mm-hmm. one of the first songs. You ain't about this life for real. And then that Chris Brown and Twista make a movie sample was on there. And then they had DJ play a love song on there too. They had DJ play a love song on there too. So like I caught those samples and it was like being at like, so I listened to this and I'm like, all right, this ain't really the type of music I want to listen to. But those songs are songs that I like really rock with. So I went back and listened to them after this. You know what I'm saying? I felt I was happier listening to those songs. Wait, did you feel like they did those samples justice though? I mean, it sound exactly like the song. See, that's what I was trying to... Exp- I was I was trying to say something. I think I fucked up what I was trying to say, but, like, they don't they don't chop as much anymore, so it's like they just take a, a bigger piece of the song to where you can... You, they're, they're redoing the song instead of sampling. Right, right, like, instead of... So when I think of sampling... It's, it's like... You, old school sample. It's like you take a part of the song and, and you, you do something with it, but you, you still you do You rearrange it and make it, it something different. Yeah, like, when you take... Um, Shaka Khan through the fire and then Kanye West through the wire. Through the wire like you, that's something different. I, it's different. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Through the wire is a classic. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or and just old school sampling tactics were just different. On here, when I I think it's what is it? Save your soul. Save our soul.
I don't know which song is the one where they sampled the Chris Brown in. I wrote it down at work, but I forgot it. You know what? That's crazy because I still had notes from last week. Oh, no, it was that one. Don Tolliver, and I wrote the song for me, the Mayan Beanie Man sample was trash. So when I hear this. <laughs> That's the one they liked. Nah, yeah. it was the other one, remember? We got that wrong. Oh, I told yeah, you that. Yeah. It was the other one. Okay. But like when I heard this, like other than this yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yeah stuff going on, it's the exact same beat that Chris Brown yeah. and Twister did. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like cool. Like I said, it's, they remaking the song but more than yeah. they sampling. You know what I mean? So like I said, like, for She's while, doing covers. But <laughs> pretty much but her a spoof, if you will. Yeah, like a she parody. got different lyrics than he did. <laughs> Just trash it even more. But like <laughs> a skit, nigga. <laughs> like if I had to judge her song against make a movie, like it's not even close. You know what I'm saying? Like make a movie was like way better than what she just did. To me. Mm-hmm. So for that reasoning, I gave her a five. Mm. It's not terrible. Mm. Like, Boy, it's not my it? stuff. Mm. Yeah, I mean, hey, but oh, like I said, a woman I might listen to this and think it's great. He cut it deep. Just, yeah. For me, it didn't really move me. Get yeah. your black ass out my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. Can I talk now? You got the, you got the floor. <laughs> I got the floor. All right. With no interruptions. Um, As I yeah, interrupt them. <laughs> I, uh... Didn't really like this much. Um, it was cool. Wow. So y'all don't protect black women, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I said, it just was. I can't. I mean, some of it I can't really resonate with. So I mean, it takes a couple points off for that. But uh, I, feel. I did have a few songs that I liked on there. Um, I liked uh, "Someone on You," uh, "Stingy" featuring Young Blue. What? Like, bro, you be listening to Jay-Z. You ain't out here selling no dope. How do you resonate with that? I did back in the day. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that nigga so weed for, I changed. T- for a week. <laughs> well, you sold two, three, five. Well, now, y'all buddy. was acting outrageous. <laughs> y'all be cutting me off. Boy, man. y'all. So <laughs> Let's go, man. All nigga right. think he Tommy over there. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, I like Tongue Tied. That's my favorite song. That beat is hard. Uh, she had bars on that song. So, you know, it was it was kind of nasty too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> made, your, made your thing jump a little bit. <laughs> Stop! You're still on my joke. You got me pointing. <laughs> um, and then what uh, the song "Ain't Gotta Leave"? Uh, she was actually singing on there, like singing, singing. Yeah. So what was that? One, two, three, four. I mean, there was a couple other songs that were just okay on her. Um. Said I I take the music album and Hit Boys production over Tink and Hit Makers production. The same at the end. Me too. Ain't so, no way, boy. That's my vote. Ain't anyway, no uh, but on this album, I would I rated this album a six point three. Get the fuck out of it. What? For those scoring at home. <laughs> that didn't. <laughs> this is why we can't do the point five. What, what are you talking about? Point three. Six point game is how much? Six point three for those he scoring at home. This shit, it's like his thing now. Yeah, like, he just does it because we pointed it out. Random so. number. Like, yeah, so he has what to do be you like, mean? If there was a rhyme or reason how you got to these point three. He I just a, described. He, you don't have a rubric. I do. A I just feel like. A rubric. A rubric. Yeah. I just feel it's, familiar with that. I rubric. just feel like it's better than really? a six point two. No. It's better than a 6.2, but it's not as good as a 6.4. So I gave it a 6.3. You know rubric, don't you? Yes. Oh, why is it not a 6.5? I just told you why. I don't understand. I <laughs> no no scale, no nothing. Yeah, I feel no like... Uh, anyway. My, in my opinion, I feel like the points... Um, pinpoint. I can't even fucking explain his explanation. No, I just feel like they pinpoint <laughs> a little more because literally, if Johnny could, he'd give everything a 7. That's not true. I just, gave, he it just a gave it a five. I know, but I'm just saying, majority of your ratings. That did not age well, Chris. <laughs> horrible. No, but I majority. I gave somebody last week a six. Of all your ratings have been sevens, and it's kind of like if if Johnny could give like a 6.7 or a 6.5. What if that was to seven, too? Like it can be a strong or a seven, seven point or five, seven point four. Well, last week I gave somebody a six. I need you to reach in your backpack and get your certificate for nasty work, buddy. That explanation was nasty. Certified nasty. I just, like- I just need somewhere like there's a spreadsheet, like okay, you know, beat point three or something. This I'm point three, for flow, that's, but that's what I'm thinking about, and that's yeah. why I have my notes here. 
And this is how I got to my rating. What I, I had to bump mine to a six and a half because you made it a seven automatically? Yeah. Okay. So I'm a seven and you were 6.3. He's a six. He's a six. Yeah. Well, you, I'm not rating you as a six. That's what you're just Five, rating. six, seven. <laughs> okay. Five, six, seven. All right. Yes. I gave it a I gave it about a seven. I thought it was cool. I like I like the beats. I do I do I did appreciate the the songs that I knew. I mean, but I like I agree with you about the the uh wanting to make you listen to the other song and enjoying that one more because it's just like a cover. I agree with that. Um I like Toxic, I like Save Your Soul, Someone on You. I liked uh Let My Guard Down. I like Stingy and I liked uh I like Tongue Tied a lot. And yeah, and new nigga was kind of that was a little rough. That was a little rough. Said it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> these girls, these, these girls, girls, these girls are mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's what I'm saying, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's like, like it's not like it's the not, way she's talking kinda... is like the way a nigga think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, I, I want you to be the chick. So, uh, so to me, when I'm listening to this, I'm like, okay, so this is what it's like to date. Somebody young, ten years younger than me. This is how they think. This is how they move. This is a wild game. I don't know if I can make it's it. It's a wild game. <laughs> I would be boy. I'd have had so many busting windows and shit. Yeah, bro. it's a wild game. <laughs> boy, like she was like the garage. She Back just... then, I was outside, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I mean, but like some of it, like when she was just like, we just fucking because we toxic, and I'm just like, yeah, I just. I didn't be like that. I, I mean, I, I get nah, it, but, but like, like, let me say that. Though. I was you don't like, say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that song? You want her to be like, no, no, yeah, no. That's the girl I like right there. <laughs> 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 I want the normal girl. Like, I'm out. Yeah. I'm leaving. We, we broke up. Yeah. And don't and tell, tell like, nobody in Miles Bitch gave you some like, pussy. I need that girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't, like, like, I don't like all this shit. Jay be like, I'm out. I believe it. She be like, bye, bye. She be like, I'm college Jerry anyway. Like, bitch, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? She said, she keep a nigga just in case you start to get comfortable. Yeah, I don't like She it. said, don't let my mom want I'm like, I broke up with somebody 72 times, and it was how it played out the other way every single time. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I did this shit just to get like that reaction. I don't like this. <laughs> I didn't like the song, Stingy. Just because I was like, man, I don't like when they name songs, songs that have been before. I, it's hard to, like, nah, don't do that. Oh, you, you know, it's only, yeah. it's yeah, only it's so many stuff. words in the dictionary. I know, but it's stupid, but it's my life, bro. That's I feel Stingy what he's saying. It's a good song, though. though. Yeah. It's, it's like, man, who, who had the song Recession Proof? And I was like, Nas? Nice. Yeah, and I was like, nah, bro. It didn't stack up to, to Young Gotti. was like, nah, bro, I can't. I it had was a better. Doc you for that. It was better. It wasn't better than Yo Gotti, bro. I don't like, remember what song. Close. I don't remember what song it was, but she was like, what'd she say? I two hand twisted. I'm like, oh. I know what that is. Yeah. I said, Lord have mercy. <laughs> she that got got yeah, 3,000, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, I said, calm down, boy. Pink, but even at that, eye. though, like, make that sound a little bit more sexy. It's kind of like, you have you ever watched uh, Notorious? And like when Lil Kim was first trying, when she was trying to rap for Biggie and she was spitting like a nigga, and he was yeah. like, man, like, don't no nigga want to hear that, man. We want to hear some sexy shit. And yeah. He's changing. Like, that's me. Like, I, I don't want to hear you think like it talk like me. That's my job. But you want to get rid of all that masculine be, energy. Yeah, I need you to be the girl, be the woman. Be but the feminine. But yeah. a lot of her audience probably want to hear that, though. I, I, and that's uh, why it's not for me. Majority of her audience is probably women. Maybe girl, embrace your phenomenon or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's why it's not for me. <laughs> it's yeah, not for him to go to bed. Phenomenon. Femininity. Feminine. 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 Femininity. 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of like the, the the peek into a different world, you know. It was, yeah. It just made me think scary, of Hot Girl Summer and all of that world. type of shit. A very scary saying? world. And I'm I'm I was the original hot boy, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hear no hot girl summer. It's you know cool, I mean? but I'm like, bro, man, I really listen. I think her. Lil Wayne was the original hot boy. I, Nah, I was way hotter than Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my thing, boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we did this just to compare a hit boy album, a hit boy R and B album to a hit maker R and B album. So when you do, do you... that though, when you do that though, I will say though, like the music on there, like hit maker, yeah, like his music is cool, but yeah. I mean it's heavy samples, you know right. what I'm saying? But it's cool. But I don't knock her. This album because of the music though it sounded good. Right. It's just for me stylistic. 
listening to R&B music. So if right. she changed her lyrics, it'll be better. Yeah, she started sweet talking me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. She can get a higher rate. But, get you but, a little bit of her in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so let's let's base it off of the way her vocals sound and the beats. What would you say? It's a five. <laughs> that is Damn. That, that is hey, five, hey, right? I did my homework. Yeah. It's a five. It's a five. No, but I thought you gave it a seven. I no, gave it a five. No. Oh, he, a five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. So it was a five, no matter what. I yeah. gave it a six point three. Five, Honestly, six, seven. Production wise, I could. I don't think one was like that much better than the other. Well, also like, so like, does it sound production? Production. I'm like, like it hip was boy cool. shit sounds was... good as hell. I just felt like it didn't go with the music soul child. That when you say music soul child, my mind automatically thinks like I know that sound. Okay. And this ain't that sound. Okay. It's just like if you say Mac Dre, everybody think it would sound like, okay, I know that sound. Oh, I so see. So then if you come so with some other shit, you like, whoa, whoa. So it kind of threw you off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's just like when you hear a song, you're like, okay, this sound like an East Coast song. Mm-hmm. Like, you know that sound. Music Soul Child has a sound, and this ain't it. Mm. So he, you want that Philly sound, not that LA sound. Yeah. You want that Philly sound. Yeah. Give me that Philly John. <laughs> I see you, boy. I see you. Uh, hey, that sound give me a John. Uh, that sound, sound is John. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. My nigga pie like, in the day. Now, this a John. That's a John. You a John. You a John. That's a John. All that right. can's a John. So, I guess that's it. That's it. That's all. Yeah. So next week. No, it's not that shit. That's all. My bad. It's not your segment. Nah, I'm I thought Damn. she was done, bro. I'm, I'm, I call on you. you. Oop. We only call on you when we need something Googled and I'm we need words of wisdom. Oop, bro. <laughs> You're doing the oop. John stocked it though. <laughs> My notes. Next week, we will be doing T Pain album entitled On Top of the Covers. Thank God. I'm actually looking forward to that yeah. after the Which he's covering some old older songs. Bit. Notable songs is uh that I've picked out so far is Tennessee Whiskey and A Change Gonna Come. <laughs> Sam Cook and uh Chris Stapleton songs. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm cool with that. I think it's a slow burn. I think it's about 10 songs, maybe 30, 40 minutes long. I like slow 10 burn. 10 songs is like, that's it's, the it's, perfect number. Yeah, because that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what the blueprint had. That's that's the perfect number. Yeah. Blueprint did not have 10 songs. You got to be really good to get over. Like, Chris <laughs> Brown was over 10, but it was good. That That's kind of exhausting, though, that... 20 album, 20, 30 song album. I'm not, I mean, what was Chris Brown? That was Chris album Brown. 30. I was it? it was like 18, I thought. Yeah. The last was one's 18? Oh, well, the other two before that was 30. So. Yeah, I don't, I ain't got time for 30. Even though I got time for 30, I ain't got time for 30. I ain't got my time for 30. My attention span ain't there. For, for sure. Yeah. Your voice like, I'm not a kid, nerves. but I'm not an old person either. So I, I almost tried to, to jump out there and try something new today. ESTG dropped an album called Mad. ESTG got a new song called Undefeated. That shit's dope. Uh, I'm going to check that one out. It's on this album. But the title of the intro is called Pray You Die in Surgery. I said, nope. I'm not tough enough to listen to this kind <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Get John Moran in this motherfucker, man. I can't do it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, beautiful people. That's it. That's all. Peace and love. He still said that's it. That's all. That's his thing. That's what I'm throwing. Ooh. Stop. <laughs>